In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the spark plugs on this Chevy Silverado with a 6.0 liter engine. I'm only going to show you one because they're all exactly the same and they're all very easy to get to. So let's install these brand new TRQ plugs. So to get the spark plug wires off, sometimes it's a challenge because they get stuck. As you can see, they're right between the exhaust runners and try to avoid pulling on the cable. You want to pull on the boot. If it doesn't come off by just pulling out on it, what you can do is take some needle nose pliers or whatever you have that'll do this. Just try to give them a couple twists. Not too much. You don't want to break anything. And you want to just try to pry them out. Sometimes that breaks them free. Other times this still doesn't work. There we go. Got this off. Now you can set this aside. Of course, inspect it. Make sure it's still in good condition. If you accidentally pull the wire out of the boot, you're gonna have to replace that wire or if anything is damaged. So now we can get to the spark plug. On the spark plug, you're gonna need a regular 5 8 spark plug socket. Slide that on all the way. And then with a little extension and a ratchet, you should be able to break this free. There we go. These should not be very tight. Just remove it all the way. Okay. Carefully remove it. There it is. I'm using a spark plug socket, which means when I put my spark plug in it, it won't fall out. It is important because this is what I'm going to use to guide that plug in place. If you don't have a spark plug socket, you don't have to use one for this application. Just make sure that you start the spark plug in by hand because if you drop this on the ground, not only can you damage the electrode on the tip here, but also you can crack the ceramic and then the spark plug will be no good. Having said that, I'm going to use my spark plug socket, put it in here. That's going to hold it nicely for me and now I can put it in. Start that plug into its threads by hand. It is important that you do not cross thread this, of course. So don't try to use any tools on this. This is going in nice and smooth. I can feel that it's threading in very nicely. If you have any issues, back it off, inspect the threads, make sure everything is good, and then try again. And I'm going to go until it bottoms out. Once it bottoms out, I'll stop and then we can torque it. It is important that you torque these to spec not only so that you can make sure the threads aren't damaged, but also so that they're seated properly. That just stopped right there, so let's grab the torque wrench. 11 foot-pounds is the torque for all of these spark plugs. That's it right there. I don't want to over-tighten it, otherwise you can damage the threads. Now you can take a little bit of silicone paste and put it right inside this boot. You don't need a lot, and you don't want a lot really because if it's too much, it'll actually prevent a good connection from being made between the electrode there or the, the connector on the wire and the tip of the spark plug. But applying some silicone paste can prevent this from being stuck in the future. Now that that's on, I'm going to slide the wire on until it clicks. There we go. That locked into place. It's not coming off. And at this point, you would repeat the same exact process to all the other spark plugs. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.